Hi folks, in this video we're going to show you how shooting works in Epic Warpath. So Matt, explain shooting to us. Okay, so there's two phases in which you can shoot. There's the uh, Overwatch phase, if you've been given an, uh, one of the red Overwatch uh, tokens, uh, that means you get to fire before anyone else does in the general combat phase. Yep. Uh, otherwise you'll go into the combat phase with one of these triangular combat tokens and you can spend that to, uh, if you're in an assault, you'd spend it to fight. But otherwise, like now, we're going to spend them to shoot with our ranged weapons. Uh, all weapons on, uh, have a profile just like the unit itself does. Um, and that'll tell you how many dice to roll, how far that weapon can go, and if it's got any keywords like ignoring cover or yeah. armor penetration, that sort of thing. Um, so it's very simple. So let's say if these guys want to shoot out this building, let's say these this school squad here, yep. uh, you'd spend your combat token to, to shoot. You'd then have a look at your profile. Okay. Uh, now everyone in the building can shoot and they can all shoot out. You just measure from the, the, the closest point. So they've got a range if you have a quick look for me. Yeah, they've got, a range, of, they've got a range of 12. Okay, so that's not a problem. They can hit everyone there in that, that unit. So there's, yeah. no, there's no, these guys aren't going to be in cover at all. These guys have got height to clearly see over anything and there's not much in the way anyway. Yeah. So there's not going to be any, any modifiers for them to, to hit. So you just need to look at how many dice they're going to roll. So they have a Genling 45 laser rifle and that gives them two dice per stand. Or per, okay, per so base. that's going to be 12 dice in, in total. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Um, and then you just need to look at their shoot value. Which is 5 plus. Okay, so for every dice you, you roll that's a 5 or more, you're going to score a hit. Oops. So, we get rid of the ones. Yeah, do you have anything like Marksman on there? I don't think this one does actually, no. 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 Not Marksman's a good ability dice. to have. If you've got Marksman, then you can re-roll those ones when you're rolling to, rolling to hit. Okay, so we had five hits there. Okay, so now you need to roll against my armour. So if I look at my armour for my ghouls, my ghouls have uh, armour five. So again, any fives or more five that you plus. roll will then kill units' uh, stamp bases there. So, <laughs> oh, look at that. Absolutely none at all. Yeah. Let's roll it again just so you can see how it works. He says try to get some dice. So that's a little bit better. We got we got two so there. Two hits. So that's... There's a, um, unless they've uh, naturally got some kind of save or yeah. I've given them some save because of a, 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 an order I've put on them, that, that's it. So I would remove two bases. I can choose from any of the eligible bases that I want that were in range or line of sight, in which case I'll remove those back two there. Okay. So that's done. Now, if you were to have uh, killed uh, half or more of my surviving stands, I would automatically have received a pin marker. Unless okay. I've got something like I'm flinching where, you know, I just don't care. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's how basic shooting works. What about with things like uh, vehicles? Does it work exactly the same way? Vehicles work in exactly the same way. They tend to have more weapons, although they have a few things. Sometimes even uh, they might even have two weapons, one primary and one secondary. In that case, they can split again, split and fire at different targets. Yep. Normally, a unit has to fire all at, at the same uh, the same target. If you're going to shoot, say, these guys will, have, will roll some dice for those guys to shoot yep. to shoot them. Now these heavy weapons are in are going to be in cover, so the infantry that's wholly in the woods are automatically in cover. You can see up to two inches inside of the woods, so these guys at the back here aren't going to be visible to these. So yep. You can only uh, see and kill up to for four of them. Uh, because they're in cover, it's minus one modifier for when you're rolling to hit. So if you have a look okay. at how many how many dice you've got, so they get three dice each, so nine dice to shoot and. They would normally be a five plus, but because they're in cover, it's a six plus. Yes. So we roll nine dice to get six plus. And these do have marksmen, so, so they would re roll, re -roll the one. one. So it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't help. So we take away the misses, and that leaves three hits. Yep. Uh, my HMGs have got armor five. So armor five. And two, two hits. Uh, two dead. So I have to remove from the, uh, the eligible ones. So I'll remove those two from either side there. So there you go. That's Fairly it. simple. So it's usually just a roll to hit, roll to damage, and then you remove those uh, any any that cause damage on a one for one basis. Yeah, and the, and I guess the only things that would change that is if any of the particular units have armor penetration which would bring down the armor rating. Yeah. And sometimes some units like vehicles might have a save which would give them an extra chance to try and protect yeah, big, themselves. Bigger tanks tend to have saves. Things like jet bikes tend to have like the ability to dodge so they yeah. get a save as well. Um, 
The plague have a good ability where they can infect units for a round, which gives them a save. So those kind of things. But typically, yeah. most things don't have don't yeah. have a save by default. Okay. So that's how shooting works. <laughs>